Aaron, what did you just ask me if we do? Are we doing perspex? What are perspex? Plastic glass. See, <laughs> something not said in the U.S. What do you call it? This is this is perspex. This is like plexiglass. Plexi, oh, plexi or glass. plexiglass? No, we're not going to do that. Perspex. So today is Aaron's last day cleaning windows in America. Aaron, yes, how have you enjoyed cleaning windows in America? I've hated it because I'm working with you. Yeah. Aaron, <laughs> nah, it's, it's working with me. Like we were talking about it last night and it's just different. It's the same thing, but it's completely different. How is it different? Because it's like learning a whole new... Like I said, I feel like a noob when I started on Monday. Everything I did, everything that I've taught myself is stuff that you do differently. Yeah. And it's to a point where myself personally, when I, well, when I retired, I was in a different place. When I started the business and I wanted to like grow and get clients, I had to put a different, I, I put something out there that was different to everyone else. And I had to try and win every bit of work. I had to try and be the best I could. Where I think with Steve, he has enough clients where he doesn't have to be perfect to every single job. And I've realized that being perfect takes a lot of time. Yes. And it's time versus money. Right. Well, I just sent them a about the, uh, huh? the multi clip. Look, the great thing about the new trap pot. Is these little clips super easy to get out? Also, they can oh, yeah. hang on to little rings. Yeah, that's it. And pull shit out. Boom. Professional. And that's that's how you. Do that's it. how it's done. I think it's more about educating your clients as well. Right. It's like for me, like I came in with a good price, and I said I'll make it perfect. Like for a restaurant, there's a place I did, and you know I left it immaculate. But I've known in an hours time, there's gonna be kids running around. I've had kids come up to the windows I've just cleaned and just start putting fingerprints all over it. And I'm yeah. like, they get to a point where you kind of have to get in, get the job done as best as you can, and but make sure the client understands that you're not here to make it perfect, you're here to keep it going. You know, fingerprints will always happen, food splat will always happen, but as long as you're leaving it in a, a reasonable kind of state, I think as long as I understand that, it's about maintenance and not about making it perfect, then when you turn to your residential side, you can be a bit more particular and a bit more picky because residential doesn't get cleaned as often. Right. What's the what's an average residential here every three every, months? Uh, no, uh, twice a year, once a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you, so every time you go into residential, it is like... You've got to get it right the first yeah, time. Yeah, you got to get it right. There's some things that we don't go overboard with, like hard water stains we're really not into restoration of windows just because it's a high probability that we could restore that window it's a basement window it could get sprinkler water on it in the next six months and be stained once again because the people may not clean the windows again for two three years Aaron's over here doing the water fit po Let's see what Aaron's doing Aaron, how's it going with the water fed Poe? We're all done. You want me to take over? <laughs> <laughs> I've worked Aaron to death. <laughs> Aaron, look at the camera. <laughs> now here's the big question, Aaron. Does the liquidator work in the United States? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I'll answer it. Okay. Probably. On some windows, yeah. residential, yes. Yeah. Um, and it's funny you ask that because they're, they're, the question, because obviously you, you, you've, everyone here would, would have seen different people give different advice on different tools. I've always been a sawbow kind of guy. I've always cleaned a certain way. Coming out here, I haven't had all my tools, so I've been using brass. I quite like the feel of brass. It's nice and light, it's nice and easy to use, but the rubbers, because I, I like to cut my rubbers nice and like to the edge of the channel, so I can detail quicker because I've never really detailed. I've always been a kind of 
not use too much water and just you know detail to the sides and maybe touch up a, a tiny little bit yeah. but I found the rubbers over here just disintegrate uh, even on the like I was using the black diamond on the Sorbo but again cut it nice and tight so but that kind of disintegrates but the way Stephen works and the way that I've been working the past couple of days is definitely on the outside is you just use a lot of water a lot of soapy water um, to get the dirt off and to get just the squeegee moving Plus, Stephen likes to clean the frames because obviously you've got to walk, get rid of all that excess water. Again, that's not something I did. So again, that learning curve. Well, you clean like the bottom of frames, but it just wasn't. Yeah. Like, you got your water off, but it wasn't like a big thing to like yeah. make sure the sides were clean. But because you use a minimum water, you didn't really get you know that mess on there. Yeah, yeah. it's that again. It's that. I think Steve works a little bit dirtier I say dirtier but messier it's a little sloppier yeah he's a bit sloppier yeah, yeah. I'm a bit more I was learned to not do too much water be more, more precise but at the same time you then run the the, the, the the bad side of things where things dry up quicker yeah. you end up getting rainbow streaks you leave dirt on the glass I think that was the big thing that you said like in the beginning was how, are you, how do you do straight pulls without it drying yeah and it was just the difference of Aaron likes to work out work with a very ringed out mop where I'll dip the whole mop on the pole in the bucket and take that right up to the glass. I mean, it's soaking wet. And that's why I've done it is because I learned that the windows are going to stay cleaner long. I mean, stay wetter longer if I want to fan them or if I want to straight pull them. I pretty much, in most circumstances, have a good amount of time to get that clean and have, and have good results. Are you liking the uh, Zero Pro Gold Ultimate 40 Ultra High Mod? Water fed pole. Honest truth? I'd rather have a gardener. <laughs> oh, you love gardener. I do. That's not a bad thing. It's just personal. Do you know what I don't like about having the uh, this pulley thing in there? Uh -huh. Is you gotta do this. You gotta go all the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tap. But it came out? No no, there's usually a tap I have a tap on mine. Ah. But when you put it all the way up and you forget to turn tap on, then there's a pain. Yeah. Alright, your turn. <laughs> Oh, here's another thing. He, so, Steve O says that he gets a lot of requests for him, for people coming to work with him. Oh, yeah. So, from someone who's like, I'm gonna go work with someone else. It's, let's just put it this way, to actually benefit from it, you're gonna need to be here at least a week. Because yeah. we're now on day, technically day seven, because we did yeah. two days last week. But last week we were just like, having a bit of fun, you know, cleaning some windows. Yeah. This week's been very much, let's get to work. Yeah. And it's been a completely, he, he's changed. <laughs> he's, not, he's not the same man he was last year, uh, last week. Um, but people who say, I'll come out for you for a day, it's not worth it. You know, the people who struggle to know what they're doing, I think even we've both said, go work for someone long term. Yes. Because if you're earning and they're teaching you, that's the best thing. Yeah. If, if you've started your window cleaning business and you don't know what to do and you keep ringing people, you know, these guys who are super busy, you're just gonna piss them off, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, I, I've, from someone, I had 500 subscribers and I got maybe five or six calls and it just takes time away from my day. And it's not that we're assholes. Yeah. It's just the fact that we have a business to run, like you yeah. have a business to run and we can't answer every single question. What I was gonna say, like, working yeah. with someone's great, but like, we went to a school the other day and how Steven runs his crew and how I would run, because I used to run with two people sometimes when I did building plates. How we work, I was thinking, Steven, why are you doing that? Like, you're doing all the easy stuff and then you're gonna do the hard stuff. It's like, well, let us do the easy stuff. <laughs> so there's a difference. If Steve could duplicate himself or turn him into three people, he knows that the other Steve would do exactly what that Steve right. would want him to do. That's a good way of putting it. Um, same with me, if I duplicate myself, I know that I would be able to get everything done and I know the way I'd work. But when you work with different people who have different like views on things and how they like to work, it's it's very hard. Cause you don't want to come across like the asshole of the boss who's like, you know, just do what I say. Yeah. You want to give them a bit of freedom and do what they want to do. But that black diamond rubber was all right. You used it in what? The black diamond in the Atore. Oh, I'm very tired, sorry. <laughs> Uh, what else? Um, what's your biggest takeaway 
from working with Steve-O, the window cleaner. Didn't we already answer this this morning? Maybe. That's why I asked. <laughs> that, we I think that was this. your first question. <laughs> that was it. Okay. There was like a tiny intro then if, like... Okay, here you go. If you could change one thing that Steve-O, the window cleaner, does, what would it be? Oh, Jesus. You can be uh, honest, but just make it short. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to edit any of this. Jeez. Uh, um... One thing that Steve-O could change. Aaron really wants me to get a buffer tank inside my van. Oh, yes. And put reels yes. mounted in my van. So, he's not the only one that does this, right? But he's got his new X2, 2X, like X2, yeah. X2. And like, it's all on wheels and you can wheel it around. But I never did any of that. I had a DI, well, obviously I already had a DI tank. Aaron, no phone calls. Are people Tammy, call? someone wants Tammy. Tammy! Tammy! I get my hair cut, Tammy. Tammy, yeah. Nah. Um, the things are, if we change what you did, you'd probably just slow down. Yeah. But you're super quick at what you do, so it's like. Yeah, his ego's growing. It's growing! It's, gro <laughs> it's growing! That sounds like Trump. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> We're gonna make a video, I'm gonna make a video called Making Window Cleaning Great Again. <laughs> Sure, I'll get lots of dislikes. <laughs> uh, I'll do a video and post it to someone else's channel about how Steve really is. Yes, <laughs> he's an a-hole. <laughs> it's called Steve the a-hole. What have you taken from working with someone different? Taken from working with someone different? I'm Nothing, because I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> worked with a lot of people. <laughs> oh. um, what was the one thing you could change about me, Stephen? <laughs> Oh, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many to list. <laughs> it was nice working with someone, though, who, like, Aaron will, he'll express what he thinks, and that's nice. And that I know that he's not going to really hold back. So when he felt like that something was different, he would always ask me. And I think at first, when we were doing the first church in school, I thought, like, oh, is he trying to, like, I thought this in my mind, but I, I didn't. What act on it. What did you think, Steve? I was thinking, well, is he kind of trying to second guess the way I do things? You know, because we weren't, we just weren't, it was our first couple of days working with yeah. each other. But then, working with him, he just, he wants to know why. You know, it's just, why do you do that? Why do you do this? It's not like, why do you do that because it's bad? Mm. Just why do you do this? And it was fun working with someone who would actually ask questions because I always say, hiring an employee who would sit there and ask you questions that makes you know that they want to learn or that they're actually caring. When you have an employee that never asks questions, just does the basics and never tries to grow, even though Aaron's only been here for like a week and that's all he's going to be here for, it's nice to have someone who actually, you can tell, enjoys cleaning windows and enjoys the art of it and wants to learn you know, every little bit and piece of it, even though he doesn't have a window cleaning company anymore. So that was, that was a really cool part. That was nice, wasn't it? I just said. Yeah, that was very nice. That was very nice. There's a little tear in my eye. Yeah. But like I always say, and I think people really get confused that the people who create YouTube channels that we think that we know everything. It amazes me that you guys don't reach out to companies where they're multi-million dollar companies. Yeah. It amazes me. And I know it amazes Luke as well because we'll talk about this and be like, you know, we really I compared to the reality of the world. We're kind of a, we're a small business. You know, there's only four of us right now. We could expand to five, but four people get a lot of work done for window cleaning. Um, you know, and I know guys in our town who have way bigger companies, but they just don't do these videos so you don't know about them. But I bet you in your town, there are so many mentors that you could have if they want to mentor you or if you want to work for them that you could learn a lot from. And I think, um, I don't know where I was going with that, but that's what I think. <laughs> Oh, um, so, Aaron, in conclusion, go. Don't work for Steve, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in conclusion, working with people is fun, but it's only fun after like five days. Because um, when there's two very different people trying to work together, it can be kind of... I was freaking the f out the first couple of days because I was like, I don't know how he wants me to clean. And then he said, you do too much. I'm like, oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I'm not doing enough. It's nice to be able to tell someone you're doing too much <laughs> and just take some steps out rather than, rather than saying, oh, you really don't know what you're doing. You got to do this, this, and that.
so that was that was a nice thing. I didn't have to didn't have to look at pole work. Didn't have to look at all this stuff. Um, you did on my um, on my swivels because I've never been a good at swivels. I haven't had enough experience with swivels. With now moment. you tell me, <laughs> <laughs> mate. The, the, the best way to grow a business is bullshit. Just just get you know just, straight bullshit. Yeah, straight bullshit. <laughs> just you know blag yourself in. Well, we hope this video has been insightful. Uh, might just be more Aaron and I talking. You don't really want to listen to it. <laughs> They'll get but, five minutes in and be like, I, I, I yep. don't want to listen. But I think if you're, I think it'd be a good listen, almost like a, just to listen to it while you're at work. Mm. I don't know if the B-roll would be very helpful or anything, but. Is there a B-roll? <laughs> yeah, I have tons of B-roll to put with this. So <laughs> I have to have B-roll. Okay, so I have one last thing to say. Steven, uh -huh. I quit. Okay. Bye, Aaron. Bye.